Time now for Top That. What do you do with a news environment like this with so much nutty stuff going on? Well, of course, you rank it according to the nuttiest story of the day. Jillian Turner joins us. She works at the White House National Security Council for two presidents. Kristen Soltis Anderson is a pollster and a columnist at the Washington Examiner. She's here as well. Kristen, you first. So if you went to sleep last night before midnight, you may have woken up to discover the news that Donald Trump tweeted with a typo. And yet this has dominated much of the news coverage for the day. Donald Trump last night tweeting that he was frustrated about news coverage, but misspelling the word coverage to Kofefe. Uh, by the time I woke up this morning and tuned into the news, Kofefe was trending on Twitter. And throughout most of the day, uh, there were, uh, in fact, some serious news outlets wondering what was the mystery behind the word Kofefe? Was it some kind of secret, what, secret to Trump's administration? Was it a, a policy code word? What does this mean? Uh, there was a YouTube star in Singapore who claims she's already had the word tattooed on her arm and tweeted a picture of it. Very bizarre. Is that how it's a Hungarian term? Someone was telling me. Is that how you pronounce it, Kofefe? Uh, so I actually, I think the APs had to come up with a sort of style guide pronunciation. I believe before I came on, I wanted to do my homework. Kofefe was the the uh, the translation of the tweet. It is one of the nuttiest things I've ever seen, I've ever seen in my life. I don't know. The other great thing is overnight that Merriam-Webster Urban Dictionary. You uh -huh. know, they have an urban version of their dictionary for more slang terms. Yes. They get it. They already added it. It took like an hour. Normally, but it's it definitely Kofefe. Like I just want to. I, I want to embarrass I, myself at dinner after the I show. I believe Kofefe, you're safe going with I'm that. I'm throwing it in the first sentence. I love it. Jillian? So, um, no one knows more about golf than me, obviously. So, I'm bringing you a story about <laughs> Tiger Woods tonight. Um, you may have heard that he got arrested, sadly, on Monday. A very sort of tragic situation where he was found slumped over the wheel of his car a few miles away from his home in Jupiter, Florida. Um, police pulled him out of the car. He wasn't really able to walk. But he passed the breathalyzer test, interestingly enough, is now claiming that um, he was under the influence of prescription medication. So we feel terrible for Tiger. It's, we hope that he recovers and gets well. But what I'm here to talk about is the fact that there were two very different mug shots circulated on television and online. You can see them right there. Pull them up. The one on the left was brought to you by the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Department. He looks not amazing. Yeah, not ama sub amazing. Sub-amazing. Right, yes. sub-amazing. On the right, also sub-amazing, but much better. Turns out the one on the right was actually photoshopped, doctored up by ESPN, and they've now had to issue an apology and retracted it, and they're now airing the better, the, the more realistic version. They are claiming, I think we've got the quote from them if we want to pull it up here, they're claiming that they had to, they didn't intentionally photoshop it. All they did was, to make him look better, all they did was sort of format it to fit their template for athlete headshots. Honestly, that's what they do in our makeup room here. Um, and I let know, me just you, say, you he looks. see what he looks like right now. Much more Kofefe <laughs> than I do now. By the way, Kofefe wins. I'm sorry. I love yours, but Kofefe is always going to win. It just has to by definition. I understand. Kofefe? I understand. Have a Kofefe night. <laughs> Great to see you.